Alright, welcome, welcome everyone, back for the last day of the Australasia live plane spotting tour. It's so sad, but, but we've made it from, uh, we've made it to six different airports. This is day eight of eight, and we're plane spotting here in Wellington this morning and uh, into a bit of the afternoon as well. Looking forward to sharing a bit of Wellington with you guys. I'm sure most of you follow Kevin from Wellington Flights Live. Ooh, just got an ATR coming off of uh, off the runway now. Let's, uh, let's catch a bit of this. Beautiful light this morning here in Wellington. And then uh, just taxiing down the end of the runway. We have the airplane that brought me here to Wellington today. From Christchurch, heading back. Christchurch. Looking forward to seeing its departure. Stuart Cameron, morning all. Welcome to the show. Pleasure to have you with us. And Regan also back in the chat. Welcome to the stream. Pleasure to have you here. Plenty of uh, action coming your way from Wellington today. Got a Dash 8 on finals. Here at the, the, the Dash capital of the world and look what we have taxiing out in some beautiful light this morning CKOAB the all black Airbus A321 uh, A320 sorry such a nice looking aeroplane uh, just gonna do that real quick Here we are, here's our uh, Dash 8 coming in on finals. And a very nice landing there. So early on, and a great thumbnail worthy photo right there. Okay, here we have uh, lined up on the runway. Let me get some information of this flight. Getting back to Christchurch after bringing me here this morning. Beautiful flight. Uh, sun coming up. Fog on the ground in Christchurch. Picturesque. Jetstar Flight 287, Airbus A320, Victor Hotel, Victor Foxtrot, Papa, the registration. Here we go. Fantastic, our first departure of the day. The A320 that brought me here to Wellington, heading back to the South Island on like pretty much the shortest flight I think I've ever been on. 
32 minutes from a uh, touchdown, uh, take off to touchdown. Felt so quick. Barely enough time to to film everything on the review. Okay, so our our black beauty, all black, A three twenty two hundred there. Looking forward to this departure and some golden lighting here in Wellington. Shame I couldn't get here too much earlier. CK OAB just lining up and going straight for it off of runway 16 off to Auckland. New Zealand. 680 the uh, the flight number there Oscar Alpha Bravo our all black A320 CO from here New Zealand off to Auckland might be able to uh, just follow it and have it watch it bank around because it's departing to the south right now and obviously needs to turn to the north eventually So we'll come back to that. Got a plane coming in on final approach. In New Zealand. Q300. No, that's an ATR, sorry. So, plenty of action here on an early Monday morning at Wellington. And as you guys can probably hear, it's most certainly not windy Wellington so far. Very calm morning. My guess is that it'll take a lift here. No, okay. Never mind going to the other prop gates here in, uh, in Wellington OAB our all black 320 Where, uh, where is it? it? It looks amazing from from where I oh, almost had it. Panning around trying to find it. There it is. The Airbus A320-200 departing to Auckland. In some, uh, some perfect light. Now look at this everyone. The dash gates 
here in Wellington. We'll come back to that after this uh, Sounds Ear 208 departs. Zulu Kilo, Sierra Alpha Alpha there. Departing off to... To Picton, Coromico Airport, as uh, sounds Air Flight 111. So ATR must just be waiting for a gate here. Feathering its engines, that's uh, that's not a gate it's parked on. So it must be waiting for something to come out of Dashie's nest here in Wellington. Great sight to see. It was A320. A32200 coming in from Auckland. Take a lift just down here. Is it going to go long? It's going to go the whole way. Taking the entire runway to stop here in Wellington. Get a nice hit on with it as it, it taxis to the gates here in Wellington. Nice wingtip fences, as you can see. My favourite. This aircraft is Oscar Juliet Sierra. We saw this one yesterday on the stream in Christchurch as it uh, departed and arrived to and from Queenstown, making its way into Wellington from Auckland. Another dashy for the nest. from Nelson the, uh, the short 26 minute hop and from Nelson Zuli Kilo November Eco Papa the registration of uh, this Dash 8 300 Another Dash 8 also parked up uh, just off of off of view, out of view. So we've got uh, the ATR still feathering over here waiting for a gate. And another one, perhaps also uh, waiting. It 
Let's see, is it going to get, uh, is it going to get a gate? No, it's not. So, we're going to have two aircraft. Just sitting here waiting. In Wellington. Alright. Sue. Hi, Nonny and everyone. Welcome back. Loved your, uh, your, your viewings from, uh, from over the tour. And Vinny as well, also a great supporter. Congratulations on making it to your final airport of the tour. Loved it all. Hard work pays off. Yes, and we're uh, I've applied now for uh, for monetization. Looking forward uh, to a bit of that. Of course, it's not the uh, the main the reason that I get out here and do this all for you. Really enjoying. Bringing, um, bringing you guys live plane spotting. This is day eight of eight of the Australasia live plane spotting tour. Airport six of six across Australia and New Zealand. Auckland, Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, and Christchurch. Bringing us here to the last stop in Wellington. Due to have uh, plenty of company on the last day as well here in Wellington. Looking forward to that. Let's see how I go. Some beautiful lighting here. Diminished. Hello. Welcome to the final stream. Pleasure to have your company here with us on YouTube. Disappear there. We've still got our uh, our aircraft feathering, waiting for a gate. Nib coming in. Such a beautiful place. Absolutely. Let's uh, let's take you for a little bit of a, a look around Wellington Airport. So as you can see, we've got uh, our Dashie's Nest and Sea. This is looking towards the south. Very nice. Uh, and this is the uh, on the other side of the airport. The harbour there, quite a popular surf beach, but at, as you can see, definitely not today. It's the calmest I think Wellington has ever been. Putting on a wonderful show here for us says it's only 11 degrees on the weather widget. I could almost take my jumper off. It's quite strange. So a wind is definitely what makes it super cold. So you've got got the got a couple of hangers. We've got the the defense force hangar over the far side of the field. The warehouse, of course, just off the field. Uh, what's this one here? We've got. Um, couple other hangers. Then we've got Life Flight and uh, ExecuJet as well over here with the large hangar. Can occasionally see in New Zealand A320s getting fixed if they uh, they break down here in Wellington. Continuing on further down the runway. Lovely hills in the background. Let me just uh, try and adjust this light for you so you can see it a bit better. And of course, see on uh, both sides of the runway. So we're here up in the in the car park of Wellington Airport. Thought it was a uh, a fitting place to to finish off. Actually, my first time up here. Alright, Dash 8's pushed back, meaning there's now a space for the ATR-72. Seeing as it got here first, just going to come in and ruin our Dash 8 fun, as they like to do. Just taxiing with the, uh, the left-hand engine shut down. As you can often find at bigger airports, but uh, seeing as it had to 
wait such a long time for a gate. It's, uh, it's quite an appropriate time to use that feature. Good thing about turboprops, eh? Just going to come in and ruin our Dash 8 fun. Shadow Chaser also tuning in. Starting work in half an hour, so get a small bit of stream. Great to great to have you here tuning in with us, even if it's just for a sh short amount of time. So our uh, New Zealand Dash there, and Jetstar Airbus A320 arrived from Auckland, and departing off to oh back to Auckland. Okay, so two uh, early Auckland flights for Jetstar. One departed as I was uh, getting in, and the other just taxiing out now. Also, a good thing about about Wellington is that you can watch the uh, the ferries. This is the Blue Bridge, the Blue Bridge ferry, the uh, the alternative to I think the I think the uh, Inter Island is taxpayer taxpayer owned. So we get to watch that sail just across the screen. Great to have you tuning in there, uh, Shadow Chaser. So this ferry making its way to the uh, the South Island. <laughs> yeah, not today, that's for sure. Tony, also a uh, great supporter. Good morning, Harry, and good morning, beautiful Wellington. Good morning to one and all watching on this wonderful stream. Pleasure to have everyone tuning in with us. Pleasure to have... Uh, yeah, all the supporters, plenty of the supporters anyway, that have uh, been tuning in throughout the stream. So our uh, New Zealand Q300 that uh, finally made some room for a, an ATR to park on Dashie's Nest, enemy territory there. Not what we like to see. <laughs> Just uh, leaving this one out in the open, trying to get back to the nest. Still feathering down there. Alright. Jetstar 320 now uh, lining up down the end there. Off to Auckland as Jetstar 252, Victor Hotel, Victor Foxtrot Delta. Channel for light. Sorry you're late, that's alright, I was only meant to start and, uh, at 8.30, started 15 minutes early. Here we go, off to Auckland. try and catch that one as it banks right twice and uh, heads back north past the airport. Wasting no time here. Q300 departing to Blenheim. Very short flight there. Mm. 
nice early rotation there from the uh, the Q300. Departing to the top of the South Island. Short hop. The GA8 Evan gonna be able to taxi right in to its gate. Of course, it's uh, quite a lot smaller than the Dash 8 or an 80R, so they've got their own parking, which uh, which a Dash 8 or an 80R can't steal. It's gonna come in towards us just down here at the uh, the tiny plane gates. Which is, of course, what they're actually called. What's this coming in? Looks like an Origin Air Jetstream 30 something. Fantastic aircraft to fly on. Review up on YouTube as well just uh, two weeks ago absolutely fantastic to have Origin Air here in Wellington ZK JSK to Jetstream 32 of Origin Air Origin Air have two Jetstream 32s, one Jetstream 31. This is the uh, the only one that I haven't flown on in the fleet. The review of uh, the other two aircraft up on YouTube, flying from Hamilton to Palmerston North and onwards to Nelson. So they come and they taxi left here and uh, park down in between the uh, the A320 gates little rocket ship of a plane No, it's uh, it's going somewhere else today. Perhaps just to the uh, the prop gates on the end of the terminal, or it's going to have to have to wait like the dash eight is for uh, a gate. There's another dash eight uh, just starting up. As well, going to push back. Let's, uh, let's just swing around to that one. Doors closed. So our first one here in the the nest. Zulu Kilo, November Eco Sierra. You can actually notice uh, that third one, November Eco Charlie, has quite a squished. Registration, which is different to uh, all the Dash 8s, as far as I remember. So you get the get the comparison there. The November Foxtrot India quite stretched out. NEC uh, squished together. Jessica, coming out to uh, say hi around 11, 11.30. Looking forward to it. Got got the spare headset here for uh, you and anyone else wanting to to come and say hi on the last day of the Australasia Live Plane Spotting Tour. Looking forward to sharing all the action here with you guys. All right, right engine has started up on. Uh, NES, I think it was.
We'll be making the uh, quite a long flight to Invercargill. This and uh, Tauranga to Christchurch being the longest Dash 8 and ATR flights here in New Zealand. Longest prop flight with the longest domestic flight being Auckland to Invercargill on the A320. Sounds Air is already back. This is one of the first movements on the stream departing to Picton. Only a... Gee, what? How long would that have been? 40 odd minutes return. So it's already back here from the South Island. So uh, our Dash 8, which has been sitting here for a very long time, is finally going to get a gate. As I think November Eco Sierra, yes it has pushed back. And just see the top of its tail over here. So once it taxis out. November Echo Papa will uh, will take that gate. So Origineer Jetstream also waiting, and the uh, the 208, however, already has its gate ready and waiting for it. So it'll mosey all mosey on past the uh, the madness, making its way back where we where we saw the GA8 air van taxi to, just down here. The other side of Dashie's nest. <laughs> Channel for Life having uh, breakfast watching. That's the way to do it. In New Zealand A320. Just uh, pushing off. So we'll get a, uh, a nice head on here. Angus, morning all. Ali, good morning. Good to see the sun. Absolutely, it's awesome. Stuart, it was a bit late jumping on your road, on my road show, but uh, have enjoyed the last few streams. Pleasure to have you on board. Great to hear that you've been enjoying. And um, of course, the replays of all the streams are up on YouTube. So uh, you can go back and watch all of the streams from Auckland, Wellington, Christchurch, Sydney, Brisbane and Melbourne. Gunaminio also back. Good evening from Lithuania. Good morning from the other side of the world here in little old New Zealand. at Windy Wellington, which isn't living up to its name just yet. I'm sure it'll come and uh, make me regret saying that. Origin Air Jetstream, not too sure where it's off to now. Kevin, good morning to all from North Carolina. Great to have you here. Love seeing all of those Air New Zealands, no matter the plane model. But, you know, that 180R spoiling the view. As we have another Dash 8 starting up over here. Another one shutting down. And uh, Origin Air. Uh, not sure where it's off to. <laughs> Just doing the, the tour of the airport, I think. Oh, 
it looks like. We've got an Airbus A320. Coming in for runway one six. Where else did we have once? Oh yeah, uh, Melbourne and Sydney. Melbourne was one six. Sydney one six right, one six left. Wellington also a uh, a one six three four runway. So that ATR there, taxiing out from the, the gates in between the, the jets. Origin Air, still on the tour of the airport. Probably going to taxi in where that ATR was parked. Dash 8 lined up on the runway here in Wellington. Where are we? There we are. Alright. This should be a nice departure to watch. Off to Invercargill. Through the Kilo November Echo Sierra. New Zealand 873 Lima. Rotating quite a bit later than the uh, the flight to Blenheim. Significantly longer flight. Requiring uh, plenty more fuel as well. Off it goes. I'm sure you saw the uh, the A320 taxiing out, and the A320 coming in. It will most likely take the gate of the A320 that just left here, hanging to right. Lovely bit of sun shining into those engines. Love to see that. Dash 8 also coming in now for runway 16 as we have an ATR holding short and an A320 taxiing out and past the surf beach which isn't looking so surfy today Nice and uh, smooth out there. So two of our aircraft taxiing out for departure there. Tony, it is a very short runway. Have also actually had triple sevens. 747 Singapore used to fly the uh, 777 200 which then uh, the A350 to Melbourne from Wellington and then onwards to Singapore but uh, unfortunately stopped due to COVID and yet to return just gone nine o'clock here in Wellington Dash 8 taxiing out, Dash 8 taxiing in, A320 taxiing out. 
and ATR rolling on 1-6 departing off to Hamilton Dash eight that was parked on the on the easterly side of Dash's nest taxiing out. Still a Dash eight holding short of um, not holding short, but uh, just idling waiting for a gate even though there should be a free gate on the other side Siki back in the chair awesome awesome plain butter 173 might pop into the stream right now stuck on a bus in Auckland Central should probably taking the ferry back instead of the bus thank you for tuning in A320 with the wingtip fences, my favourite. Love to see it. So that Airbus A320, New Zealand 681, off to Dunedin. Oscar Juliet. Good morning to uh, PLA, Australian New Zealander. Siki, longest only just um, Auckland to Invercargill. Auckland to Chathams is close as well. Oh, yeah, that's done on an ATR, so that would probably be the longest domestic flight. Longest domestic flight in mainland New Zealand done on a prop plane is uh, Wellington and Chicago, very closely followed by Taronga to Christchurch. I think it takes slightly longer in an ATR, they're ever so slightly slower than a Dash 8. Speaking of dash eights, here we go. Departing off to Napier, New Zealand 884 Lima, Sulukilo, November Eco Tango. Looking forward to flying on a dash eight home this afternoon, I think it is. Starting in the beautiful morning sun. Here on a nice day in Wellington. Sun makes it feel quite warm. So I think the Dash 8 has uh, not realised that there's another parking spot on the far side. Unless uh, ATC can't see it as well. The ATC tower just behind the pole over here, quite a quite a different design to what we've seen on the tour. Slightly slanted, sort of representing how it's uh, been blown over 
here at Windy Wellington. Not so windy today. So we've got a dash eight there getting ready to push. Oh, is it gonna push? I don't think it needs to push from uh, from that gate. No, it doesn't look like it. It'll just be able to swing around to the right. Nib why do uh why New Zealand has black colour in its things, like planes, team jerseys, etc. I couldn't answer that one. I have absolutely no idea. I think um, Air New Zealand specific wave livery summed up the uh, summed up New Zealand a lot more than their current livery. The All Blacks, um, as well, wearing their um, black and white jerseys. Not too sure why it's why it's that colour. Mark Johnson also tuning in. Hello, welcome, and Russell. G'day, how's it going? Rob, as well, one of our fantastic moderators, came and joined us at the end of the first day. Tuning in one week later here on the final day of the Australasia Live Plane Spotting Tour. Airport 6 of 6 after plane spotting in Australia and New Zealand. Final early <laughs> early wake up this morning, so uh, very glad to have the early wake ups over, and also very glad to have gone through security for the last time. As uh, as people might know, you don't need to go through security to get on a, an aircraft less than ninety seats here in New Zealand. So uh, dash eight having fifty, I won't need to to go through security to get on my flight. It's awesome because uh, every single airport actually except for Brisbane has pulled me aside for my for my batteries. So I finally have that over and done with. Randy tuning in from Janiceville in Wisconsin. Welcome back to the tour. Andre uh, nice you're back from Australia. How's it been there for you? Uh, I tell you what, the uh, the sun's coming out a lot more in New Zealand than it did in <laughs> in Australia. Um, beautiful day here in Wellington. Not many clouds in the sky at the moment. Um, it does say only 11 degrees on the weather widget, but it's feeling nice and warm. So that aircraft starting up is departing on the half an hour odd flight to Nelson the newest dash 8 in the fleet but is still sitting at um, let's have a look still sitting at 15 years of age the uh, the new newest dash 8 in the fleet Russell tuning in from Shirah in the United Arab Emirates. Welcome, welcome. I'm uh, hoping to go over there end of this year, beginning of next year, to uh, train with Emirates. Might see you around. Gbro, hello from South Bend, Indiana. Over in the US. Welcome down under to the lesser known down under here in New Zealand in Wellington. Pleasure to have you here on the stream. Yeah, but not not too not too sure why they chose black in the first place for the rugby team. And everything else. So of course they have their um they used to have the crazy about rugby livery which has now been changed to just the, the all black livery. It's not quite the same as it used to be. Crazy about rugby used to be on uh, OJQ, I think, which we saw apart earlier in the stream. Or was it? I, I can't remember. And then um, Oscar Alpha Bravo as the the newer one. 
Bloke Fang, greetings and salutations to myself and all of you lovely people watching wherever you are. Thank you for tuning in. Four PM here in a lovely Western Chicago land. What's the weather like over there? Is it uh it's probably a bit warmer than this, but uh, I tell you what, it feels lovely in the sun. Could almost take my jumper off, but I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it after what happened in, uh, where was it? Was it Brisbane? I think it was Brisbane. Might have been Sydney, Melbourne, can't remember. I wonder 737 and A220 landing today. I doubt it's an A220. Might be an E190. If it is an A220, uh, that will be exciting. That would attract a lot of people here in Wellington. But uh, I'm not too sure if it will be an A220. This little Piper Tomahawk departing there, probably from the, uh, the local Aero Club. Let's have a look on the uh, arrivals board for today. I know we're scheduled to have uh, Qantas 7.3s in. So yeah, 135 coming in from Melbourne, 171. Another one at 250. Uh, E190. And that's all I see for Qantas movements until midnight. So our dash eight just taxiing down the end there. Lined up, all ready to go. Right, let's find some information about this aircraft. Just going off the uh, the left side of the screen, off to Rotorua. November Eco Romeo, New Zealand 530 Lima. Another one taxiing out as well. Dashy's Nest with the uh, the ATR invasion. No aircraft waiting for it gate anymore, which is uh, which is lucky. Looks like passengers just starting to board that one on the in the middle, and the one closest to us. Just down here, starting to uh, start up as well. Awesome. Great view from... Uh, from the car park here in Wellington. Rob, please smash the like button to 
help out Harry and the stream. Very much appreciated. Free to do so. Also free to subscribe. Really appreciated the support. The channel's grown by a thousand subscribers since the uh, the start. Only uh, only a week ago. Very very <laughs> uh, blown away by the amount of support. Thank you guys. Bad is about. Good morning. What a beautiful spot it is. Great spot. Got uh, got the terminals down here. We got International just on this side. Got the Ridges Hotel here. Uh, domestic gates. These are the Jetstar gates, obviously. So we've got uh, not Wellington, and then uh, just on this side is Wellington. So that's, that's quite cool. Uh, Air New Zealand gates. Are there a couple of Air New Zealand planes do park over this side? But uh, definitely all the Jetstar flights there. And then we have uh, the regional gates. Had a full, fully packed out gates just, be just before at the start of the stream. All filled with dashies. Yeah, the Q300s of Air New Zealand. Another flight boarding as well. And then we got this, uh, this ATR also looks to be boarding so plenty of action coming up uh... interesting to know if uh... oscar alpha bravo is coming back the uh, a320 we had departs slightly earlier on to auckland let's just uh, have a quick look So, uh, no, it's not until uh, 9 o'clock tonight. Tony, Wellington's definitely up there. It's one, to the one of my favourites to watch already. So picturesque. Absolutely. Catch uh, Kevin from Wellington Flights Live out here every Sunday. Not uh, not quite out this early in the morning. Ready to start about nine or ten o'clock, I think. Probably ten o'clock. So one of the uh, the other ATRs that I forgot about parked down in between the jet jet parking. And dash eight there, coming out to play past the uh, the A three twenties. Karen, it's a strange rule, yeah. Uh, so ninety seats, the uh, the cap on having uh, no security on your flight. So the ATRs as well, I think they have. Um, 68 seats on board in e New Zealand ATR, so they're also under the limit of uh, 90, so don't have to go through security to get on one of them. It's quite funny because in, in the rest of the world, it's uh, it's a thing that every every plane has to go through security if you're a commercial. But uh, I absolutely love it here in, <laughs> in New Zealand. It's so nice just being able to walk straight on your plane. No hassle. Would never be allowed in the US. Uh, yeah, even Australia as well. So even my little Q400 flight had to go through security. And a uh, little old Tamworth. Really uh, increases the, the cost at airports. So that, that helps bring airfares down over here. I 
I might have just seen a, a beacon light coming from one of the A320s. Might just be seeing things. Also a, a, a very real possibility. ATR departing to Tauranga. Hometown. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, uh, yeah, 208 from Sound Zier taxiing out as you can see. And a dash 8 down the end of that runway. Runway 16 in use here in Wellington. Now, I actually landed on runway 34. Got up here and saw they were using 16, so um, that was quite interesting. Gee, bro, my dad was uh, in the U.S. Navy during World War Two. The only thing he would say about the war was that he loved New Zealand. It's a real great place. Very, very lucky to live here. Jason, hello all. Well done on the tour. It has been good. Thank you very much. Thank you for tuning in. been awesome sharing with you guys the uh, coverage across Australia and New Zealand. Daily plane spotting. And plenty of early morning wake ups. Haven't had a sleep in. 6.30 sleep in was a real treat on uh, oh, what day would that have been? Must have been Friday. I think Friday I had a 6.30 sleep in. That was uh, that was a treat. Up at uh, 4:50 a.m. this morning, catch my Jetstar flight to uh, here to Wellington. Look, bang, sunny and 57 Fahrenheit in Chicago. Also feels good in the sun, but the wind is a bit chilly. Yeah. Yeah, just like down here. Lucky not too much wind at the moment. Ah, okay, got gotcha you there, Rob. JCG also back. Hello and warm greetings from Sao Paulo City in Brazil. Thank you for tuning in. Got an ATR just there on uh, on finals. Bit of a longer final. So we'll spin around and look at this. Give us A320 pushing back from domestic. With the, uh, the wingtip fences that I absolutely love. And I'm sure plenty others in the chat enjoy looking at these as well. A320 from Christchurch, 25 minutes out, New Zealand 338, thank you Carlin. Wellington and not Wellington, outstanding. Quite creative from the, uh, the Jetstar team on the airbridge there, if you if you missed it. We've got uh, not Wellington there, and just on the right hand side we have Wellington on the, on the airbridge. So tug disconnecting there as we have an Airbus ATR, not an Airbus, ATR, I was going to say an Airbus A320, we were just talking about an A320 coming in from Christchurch, ATR 72-600 of Air New Zealand.
You're watching day eight of the Australasia live plane spotting tour, the last day. Pleasure to uh, have you guys all tuning in today. Look at that lovely flat water in the background. Quite a rarity for, uh, for Wellington. Looks very nice. Sounds here 208 lined up. Madeira woman spotter. Hello, good evening from Madeira Island. Pleasure to have you tuned in all the way on the other side of the world here in Wellington on a lovely, lovely Monday morning here. Here's our Grand Caravan 208 from Sounds Ear. This will be a nice early takeoff. Alright, Origineer Jetstream 32, the only one in the fleet that I haven't flown on, the reviews of the other two, up on YouTube, flying from Hamilton to Palmerston North, on to Nelson. So be sure to check that out on my YouTube channel, Noni Aviation New Zealand. GA8 ear van here. Golden Bay ear, the uh, the airline. Zulu Kilo, Zulu uniform, Gulf. Juliet Sierra Kilo, the registration here, back off to Nelson. It's the only uh, the only place that Origineer flies from Wellington. Is the the Wellington Nelson route? Would love to see them expand their operations from Wellington. So our A320 flight taxiing out, not showing on the radar just yet. That's fine. Get a nice view of it as it taxis down to the end of runway 16, or down to the start shall I say. CNMP, morning, gonna go up the car park soon. Uh, is this the, the Wellington car park? Be nice to, nice to see you up here. Thank you for uh, tuning into the stream this morning. ADR turning finals from Hamilton, that was the one that we just saw coming in. Thank you, Carwin. A320, that is the one that has, uh, is just taxiing out on the left side of the screen. Off to Queenstown is New Zealand 605. Nice. Right. Right. Is there the Qantas commercial with the koala moaning, I hate Qantas, well known in New Zealand? No, it's not. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. But, um, sounds like it could be uh, one of the funner ads to watch. Alright, Origineer, Jetstream 32, runway 16 here in Wellington.
very nice take off there. Juliet Sierra Kilo, the uh, the registration. In New Zealand Airbus A320. Now down the end of the runaway. Now as we have an Air New Zealand Dash 8. Pushing back, starting up the uh, the left hand engine there. Engine number one. Get ready to head out from Wellington. Look forward to seeing that one depart. A320 going to come into the sun. Very shortly. Nice weather down the end there. Hello from Toronto, Canada. Welcome to the stream here in Wellington. Like the wedge wing tips as well are the A320s. So the the sharklets, the one that's the one that points straight up, as opposed to the ones that are seen on this A320 off to Queenstown. OJS, the uh, the registration here. Yeah, these are the, the wingtip fences. I think the ones you're talking about are the uh, the sharklets. Departure there from New Zealand 605. Off down to the South Island, down to tourist hotspot of, uh, of Queenstown. Dashy nest grows uh, ever smaller. We've got, an, got some uh, prop plane coming in. Let's have a look, see what this is. No, it's not a prop plane. It's the A320 from Christchurch. New Zealand 338. This one having the uh, the wing, the the sharklets here. Ali going on my first flight this year to Christchurch from Invercargill. Wow, what a uh, what a fantastic trip that will be. Hope you're looking forward to it and uh, enjoy. So we've got our, our dash eight there. Going to hang a right, come down to runway one six. Little bit of rudder action. Oh. And OBS is just frozen, or the stream's just frozen. No, it's just my, my camera stuff freezing. Let me uh, let me sort that out for you guys. Two seconds. Might just be my camera. It is just my uh, my camera there. Hmm. All right, there we go. So uh, be back in uh, two seconds. Just gonna plug these things back in. 
and we'll uh, we'll be back online in time for our A320. It's just on a short final at the moment. Right, here we go. Oscar X-Ray Eco is our registration here of New Zealand 338 on the very short hop from Christchurch. Mainly serviced by the ATRs but you do get an A320 or two each day on this route. Not quite going long here. Like our earlier A320 did. And Carlin saying she uh, flies in New Zealand ATR to Queenstown from Christchurch on the ATR. Sounding like uh, an awesome flight as well. I've done that one myself. Um, very scenic coming in. Sure you're looking forward to that one. Our viewer from Canada, not sure how to pronounce your uh, your name there. Works on repairing the ATR propellers. That is awesome. Dash eight. Off runway one six here, Wellington. So yeah, in New Zealand, one of the. Uh, the biggest ATR um, operators, or with with the the biggest fleet. So one in, and we've got one out here in uh, Wellington. Yeah, all the, uh, the third level operators leaving together. Looks like a freight aircraft in that light. But uh, <laughs> all the windows just disappeared with the, the sun at that angle. So one of our New Zealand A320s with the IAE V2500 engines. Wellington. Gino, hello, welcome back. Oh, Landis saying uh, it's all good, it was a while ago. Yeah, well, I'm sure there's uh, a few people who can relate to to that koala <laughs> now. But, um, mm, be interesting to know the context of uh, why the koala said that on a Qantas ad. So that was our, our 320. 
Linda, hello from the USA on a Sunday afternoon. Welcome to tomorrow. Uh, it's a, uh, a pleasure to have you tuning in the stream. And a lovely morning here. Oh, also works on uh, on the Q400 propellers as well. That's uh, that's quite an interesting job. So we've got our Dash 8 just lined up. Here, let's get some information about this one. Off to Timaru. Had a, had a viewer from uh, Timaru tuning in, I think, yesterday. This aircraft heading off there, November Eco Charlie. Here's this uh, registration, New Zealand's third Dash 8. New Zealand 193 Lima. Love the the thunder of the Q300 as it departs off to the south. Yep, so there we go. Dash 8 earlier was uh, heading to Gisborne. Jeffrey, tuning in from uh, South Carolina. Good morning. Looks gorgeous over there in Wellington. Sure does, Jeff. It's been a, a lovely morning of spotting up here at the top of the, uh, the Minecraft car park here at Wellington as it's uh, often nicknamed. Nice light. So, sounds here. Completely missed that landing. Whoops. Sierra Alpha Alpha back in once again. Here now from uh, another trip to Picton, Coromico. So it's already it's already done uh, two trips. Was one of the first movements, and it's already done two round trips in about uh, an hour and a half. Beginning its taxi is. New Zealand flight 6206 so this is a uh, bit of a different one this must be catching up for a cancelled flight Oscar Juliet Romeo so yeah, it'd, it'd be uh, just carrying passengers from a cancelled flight ATR down the end. I'm just going to get a uh, little something to cover my my camera so just to prevent it from overheating because we did actually have that issue at the Tauranga Air Show in uh, January. Uh, just do that. Actually, that covers most of my controls. I don't really want that to happen. Still want to be able to use my camera. That could get slightly annoying. But see how see how it goes. ATR departing off of runway one six bound for Christchurch. So as I was saying, quite a few ATRs on that route, but occasionally you get the dash. Sounds like a uh, Dash 8 I can hear. No, it's our uh, 208. Coming in for 
from Picton making its way to the sounds of the gates. Another A320 on the push. And we have the uh, the Inter Islander Fury from Picton coming in. So yeah, thank you for tuning in, Jeff. A320 pushing for Auckland, New Zealand 416. And that ATR off to Christchurch, New Zealand, 5343. And uh, Inter Islander flight boat. From uh, Picton into Wellington. See yeah, that A320 just pushing back to Auckland, and uh, the other A320 also going to Auckland. So two uh, Wellington Auckland flights on its way. One is uh, a regular scheduled one. The other one has is a four-digit six flight number. So yeah, this is the scheduled one, and the other one I believe making up for a cancelled flight. As I imagine, the uh, the flights are pretty full. Hard to fit all the passengers onto other flights. Chris, hi all. Welcome to the stream. Pleasure to have your company this morning. <laughs> A sound decision. William, Kilda from Phoenix, Arizona. Thank you for uh, watching the show this morning. Um, hope you had a great day over there. A320 rolling. Our flight to Auckland. Oscar Juliet Romeo, New Zealand 6206. Doesn't look like anything's coming in at the moment. Got the uh, the 320 also off to Auckland. Finished its pushback here in Wellington on day eight, the last day of the Australasia live plane spotting tour. Pleasure to have your company this morning. Oh, ZMP, that's you to to my right. G'day. How's it going? And uh, Stealthy Fix as well. Yeah, that was me in, uh, in Christchurch yesterday. How's it going? A320 just uh, our flight to Auckland 6206 on the other side of the field let's just uh, try and find it struggled flight uh, struggled finding OAB but, uh, I'm lucky
There it is. A320 200 Oscar Juliet Romeo there. And taxiing out. I believe this must be. Uh, must be OXE. Let's just have a quick look. No, OXF, this one. Let's get you at So, uh, come on, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name's Zaya, um, also known as ZP Spotting on Instagram. Um, right, chuck him a follow. Yeah, thanks. Uh, let, let's have a look. I've tracked your flight from Wellington, I just forgot to Did post you? it. Did you? Yeah. Oh, uh, if you've got a screenshot, still post it. Yeah, I forgot to screenshot it. Oh, well, that's uh, alright. But I got your flight, um, um... G'day, it is wonderful day. Any interest in aircraft today? Did you catch the, um, the BBJ, the Air Force One, when it departed? No. Oh, it must have been a few days ago, maybe last week I saw it was on the Western Oakland, the uh, foreign, Australian Foreign Minister was here. Yeah. I only came this morning. Oh nice, where are you guys from? Oh, nice. Oh, from Parks and Oh, nice. Oh, cool. So, what channel are you guys? Uh, check out this on the Aviation Oh, nice. Oh, check out. He's doing a live show on this show. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. He's just main spotting around Australia and New Zealand. Oh, cool. Eight days, last day. Last day. Oh, you picked the perfect day for it. It's a beautiful day. It's mint. Yeah, we've had some real terrible weather. So yesterday was pretty miserable, so. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm working at Wellington Airport, I'm the head of operations, so oh, right. I follow what you guys, but yeah, obviously the key, and I flew actually, I went to Messi and did the flying course in Palmerston North, yeah, so I'm, and I'm from Palmerston, so yeah. Oh, we're good, yeah, it's unfortunate we don't have any wide bodies back yet, so, but there's some, um, yeah, a little little mix, and, yeah, and great views from here, obviously, so. Yeah, great light for it, yeah. So what's it, what's that channel that's like heaps? There's heaps. There's, is that, what did you say? Social, oh, oh. social aviation. They, he does quite a bit, eh? Yeah. Wellington Flight Five. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, good. Nice. Yeah. No, no, it's, it's good. So what are you doing all day, are you? Uh, just took my flight back home. Oh, nice. Yeah. Three, five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh sweet, so you're going to meet them and then, yeah, nice. Oh, well any time, if you want to, yeah, because I could, um... New Zealand 416 here, off to Auckland. Airbus A320-200, Zulu Kilo, o Oscar, X-Ray, Foxtrot. It's wicked, yeah.
Wellington Airport executives just up in the, in the car park. Is our A320 to Auckland just banking off on departure from runway 16 here in Wellington? Beautiful sunny day for it. Just coming up 10 o'clock on a lovely Monday morning. The, uh, the last day of the Australasia live plane spotting tour as our uh, Sounds here, taxis in. This aircraft coming in from Taupo, no, Westport. As um, <coughs> Sounds here, flight 902. Zuki <coughs> Kilo Papa Lima Sierra. Then we'll get back in the chat. Stealth FX saying they're the British Concorde is the best passenger plane ever. I, I would agree with that, definitely. Also also the French, don't forget. Gotta share the love. Not just uh not just British. Carlin saying flew at ATR last Sunday, Christchurch, Wellington. Well, hopefully it was a uh, enjoyable flight. Aaron Z that landed from Christchurch. He's on the 338 parked at uh, gate 13, which is just on the other side here in Wellington. Tail sticking out there. I think that's gate 13. What's uh, what's coming in next? Uh, we've got a dash eight arriving in from Nelson. Uh, Air New Zealand 318 Lima. All right. Oh, yes, just off to the uh, the north. Carlin saying a uh, piece of twelve from uh, Taupo, twenty minutes out. Oh, yes, it's uh, that's down to five minutes out now. Impulse Aviation tuning in as well. Kia ora. Welcome to the show here in the uh, the lovely sunny Wellington. Not much wind at all. Is that our is that our Blue Bridge Ferry coming back in? That we saw earlier. Yeah it is. It's uh there it is. Saw that one heading back to pick uh heading out to Picton. Now coming back in. And uh oh there's poor people out here trying to catch a wave as well. Just on the, the other side of the field. Not much luck doing that today. And the water's probably freezing cold as well. Welcome to the stream. Walter also back. Good supporter of the tour. Hello to Wellington. Enjoying this uh, beautiful day. Hello all. Welcome to the show. Got some uh, some nice company here, and uh, looking forward to a visit from Jessica Nixon, Doug Whitcomb, probably, and uh, maybe also uh, Kevin from Wellington Flights Live. 
might be uh, might be coming up a bit later. Ah, oh, there you go. Of course, on on a Sunday. Filmed on Wellington Flights Live. So that was that was just this. No, it wasn't. Wouldn't have been yesterday. It would have been the the Sunday before. I'll uh, I'll have a look when I get home. <laughs> Q300 starting up on the uh, on the prop gates. Just on the far side there. This one, um, one of the ones that had to idle, waiting for a gate a bit earlier on. Z K N E D. New Zealand, 5250, off to uh, back home to Tauranga. As, uh, what have we got on finals? Uh, that is PC a... Oh yes, you, you have a look. See what this is. Just coming over the threshold of runway 16 here in Wellington. We've got a... Gips Aero G A A Air Van. Little G A eight Air Van. There's no um quite interesting there's no high speed exits here at Wellington you've got uh, this one but I would not call it an exit because no aircraft is gonna land in that length of runway so I would call it an exit it's uh sometimes used for just coming around here and then taking off otherwise if uh, the plane having uh, troubles down the end has to come back to the terminal they use that exit there <coughs> I'll take that off that's getting annoying We've got our sounds air friends coming in for runway 16 this is our Taupo flight Tucking on the uh, reverses there. Very nice looking PC-12 from, uh, from Sounds Air. Dash it on final. Making its way back to uh, Sounds Air's hub of operations here in Wellington, I believe. Uh, there it is. Here's our Dash 8 flight from Nelson, also coming in as uh, another one taxis out. Let's follow it all the way in now.
dash 8 landing gear there. Massive float, but uh, it's down now from the Wellington Aero Club. Off on a touch and go mission. <laughs> WAC. Ski off for Charlie. Dash 8, just, uh, just down there now, find the building. That one there will be uh, getting ready to hit out eventually. But lined up on runway 16 is our Q300 departure. This aircraft, Zulu Kilo November Eco Delta, off to Tauranga, New Zealand 250 Lima. Here we go. Popping it off the ground, the, uh, the uh, New Zealand Dash 8. Further up the, uh, the North Island it's hitting. So wondering if it'll hang a, uh, a left or a right. Most likely a, uh, a left. But nice if it hangs a right. <coughs> We've got a um, <coughs> Cessna Citation, Citation CJ2 coming in Ooh. from Queenstown. Zulu Kilo uh, X ray, X ray. Kilo, yep. Oh, yes, 66K. It's a uh, very nice looking CJ2. It's got a. Is it the one with the. No, it's not. There was one in here with a with a shell on its tail. Oh. That might have been an international one. Uh, where's our dash eight gone? Yeah, it's banking left. <coughs> Lost it. That's right. Look at our twin PC-12s there. Wonder if um, one of my former flight instructors will be uh, flying one of those. Because I know he's he's down here flying them for uh, for sounds here now. I'll just be getting my drink bottle from my hotel room. I'll All right. Back. Staying at the ridges. Nice.
getting pretty toasty. All right, it might be time for a little. Uh... What's up, Jack? How's it going? Carwin, 14th of April. Uh, was when it was streamed with uh, you on the ATR. I'll, uh, I'll check that out when I'm back home. <laughs> the propeller planes look funny because you don't see them in UK airports. Well, you just see you do see the uh, the ATRs from uh, Logan Air. They actually fly into into Heathrow with them, I think. Yeah, the uh, the only prop plane service into Heathrow is on is on Logan Air's ATRs. Going to get out of the sun for a little bit and uh, have a bit of something to eat as our. Um, is our Cessna Citation coming in now? Not too far out at the moment. Won't be able to get you on the camera there, um, but uh, just walking to the hotel, get the water bottle. Definitely needed up here. Real hot day. Coming up for 120 likes on the stream. Really appreciating your support. Tony! Good morning all to uh, Harry and uh, and Rob and everyone else in the chat. Pleasure to have your company on a lovely sunny day here in the capital of New Zealand, Wellington. Just overhead us. Uh, which you can hear at the moment. A uh, season of 210. And uh, Nathan's saying Aer Lingus still fly ATRs from uh, Dublin Belfast into most UK airports. And Hothead444 tuning in. Hello. Welcome to the show here in Wellington. Piper Tomahawk from the uh, from the Euro Club. This is our one doing touch and goes and whatever else. Where is it? <laughs> uh, it's a uh, it's a common theme on this show. At least today, a little bit of sound coming off of the tyres as it um, pops down and uh, there's another touch and go. blue water down the end there. Great views today from Wellington up the top of the, the car park here. Very nice. Alright. Drinks break before our Couple of Air New Zealand Dash 8s. I don't know, what do we got? We've got a Dash 8, an ATR, and, uh, and a private jet, a Cessna CJ2. Stay tuned for all the action to come here on day 8 of the Australasia Live Plane Sporting Tour. Free to watch on Noni Aviation New Zealand.
Alright, we're back. I've uh, <laughs> got the snakes that I would have um, bought in Sydney the first time I was there. Going all around Australia and New Zealand with uh, with me. And uh, sweet chili potato chips stolen from the, the Emirates A380 bar. I'm sure they won't miss them. The water does look very nice here. Really, really flat. Not too good for all the surfers that are trying to catch stuff over at the surf beach opposite the airport. Uh, just, just over right hand side of screen there. Couple in the water. Michael! Morning! Uh, six degrees in Melbourne. M Mural Bark. In, in Melbourne, chilly. I'm sure it is. I've actually got my, sh got my, uh, got my jumper on, off. Sorry, uh, just uh, long pants and a shirt. Air New Zealand Dash Eight Three Hundred, coming in from Blenheim. Let's have a look. November Echo uh, Quebec there. So we've got uh, got a Piper Tomahawk coming in, and then our private jet just coming to cut off the uh, the Air New Zealand traffic in for one six. So this will be uh, great to see. Just uh, just up there somewhere is our. Uh, our citation jet. It'll, uh, it'll come in for one six just behind our tomahawk. Jeez. Oh, for God's sakes, I keep losing it. But yeah. Can I don't think I've got its landing on uh, on the stream at all. We'll vacate right. Get out of the way of the departing traffic. Uh, not departing. Arriving. And from Queenstown, just turning for uh, a finals. Off in the distance. Just off to the right. Going behind the pole now. And we'll watch it come in. Zulu Kilo, X-ray, X-ray Kilo. The registration of the Cessna Citation CJ2 Plus. Wonder what the difference between the the Plus and the and the CJ2 is. using all 3,000 millimeters of zoom.
fighter jet style landing there. It's a uh, hangar right. Actually, it'll probably either backtrack or uh, taxi left, then uh, head over to the execute jet hangars. Where am I looking? Am I looking too far? Oh, I'm looking too far down. But there we go. Just backtracking on uh, 1634, heading in the 34 direction. And taxi over to Execute Jet, other side of the airport. Very quiet landing and uh, taxi. The seacraft doesn't have reverse thrusters. Left there and uh, going to come around to the right. Over the other side of the airport here, one of the uh, the resident CJ2s, I think. Just missed the jet. Yeah. Coming in next, we have Il Wong and Nui, the King Air, Zulu Kilo, Mike Delta Charlie. This one was the first one painted in the new livery, if I uh, remember correctly. And Sounds Air PC 12. Actually, I think both of them might be starting up. No, no, just just the one. After the uh, the Air Wong and Nui, looks like we have. Uh, that Cessna 210 going to fly back over the airport. And that's all for a little while until uh, an, AT ATR f an ATR coming in from Christchurch. Mike Victor Mike, the registration saw it on, uh, on the stream yesterday. Sounds here, PC12, just making its way out from the Sounds here gates. Here's our uh, our King Air, just on a short final one six coming in from the north.
also going to taxi left over to the, uh, the Executjet. It's a, uh, a charter airline here. I think uh, I think it's the one. I think it parks up over at uh, Executjet next to our Citation. Michael, beautiful picks. Blue water, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I want to go home. Just uh, just count four o'clock, come already. And get on my plane and go. Massive, uh, massive, what is it? This is day eight. Flying around Australia and New Zealand. done ready ready to go just gone half past 10 still got plenty more action coming your way today yes thank you for that Chris and Tony time to get out of bed and watch the view on the big TV uh, honored to be uh, to be uh, promoted to the to the big TV there how, how big are we talking DC-12 floating into the skies above Wellington Where's this one off to? Off to Blenheim to the, the top of the south. Uh, so Air Wanganui is just parking outside the uh, the other life life flight hangar. As you can uh, can see in this one, got one of the King Airs in there, and uh, what's in there? Oh, one of the helicopters. Looks like it might be getting ready to head out. Quite like seeing the uh, the life flight king is. Saw one in Auckland this time last week on the the first stream of the tour. Seen once again on the last the last day. Real greens, nice looking day in the capital. Are you missing Melbourne yet? Ah, uh, when I stand out here in the sun, jumper off. I can't. I can't say I am. I am missing being over in Australia, though. Um, plenty more action than uh, than here in uh, Christchurch or Wellington. Almost, uh, almost um, actually quite similar to Auckland. But uh, no, no. A if it, Melbourne was a bit warmer, if, if it felt like this when I was there, then I'd definitely be uh, be missing it. Couldn't stand there with my uh, jumper off. The private jet has arrived, indeed. Over at Executjet. Whether it's picking up or dropping off passengers, that is the question. Will it be staying or will it be going? Oh yes, the uh, the Christchurch JTR three six two Mike Mike Victor Mike the registration only about. Uh, about 10 minutes away max. Nice view of houses close to the airport but as soon makes them look closer than they are. Uh, no, I tell you what, after I catch this uh, this tomahawk again, 
Well, this might be the, the PA-38 that was operating just to the south. Uh, yes it is, by the looks of things. After I get this, I'll uh, show you around. Just holding it up the whole way, <laughs> almost down the runway. You can see Q, I think, the registration here. So, uh, as you can see down the bottom, just, uh, just a couple of houses right there very close to the airport um, of course the the ones on approach into the airport just right at the back there get a great view all these ones right around here also very close to the airport and yeah these ones all of course not too far away either a great view from up on the top of the hill overlooking not so good if you're not into planes and you just want to sleep when the when the jets come in from Australia at the middle of the middle of the night um, so what's that Bar dash eight. That is November Foxtrot Bravo. That's been sitting there for a little while since we uh, had these regional gates so crowded. There were two or three planes just idling, waiting for a gate. This was one of them. Still just sitting over there. Okay, so uh, Air Wanganui was just on a uh, on a medi medivac mission. Ooh, Airbus A320. Gonna be heading out shortly. Oh, we can see the uh, the ATR off the other side of the field as well. Very nice. So the A320 going to be off to Auckland, New Zealand 420. Oscar X-ray Echo. Passengers on the on the right hand side of this A320, uh, this ATR can get a nice view of the city. One of my favourite things about flying into Wellington. You can see the, the cake tin and everything else down there. That's just about to start banking to the right. Come in for an arrival from the north. Runway 16 gears coming down as it makes that turn Let's just zoom in a bit further so that's the full 3000 mils of zoom On the ATR 72 going behind the pole. See it, uh, see it coming shortly. Just look how flat that water is off the uh, the northern side of the field. Crystal clear in places. Jessica, on her way to uh, come say hello, looking forward to it, Gino, hello, welcome back, was in the chat uh, a bit earlier, 
Michael hopefully will get to Wellington being uh, south to Queenstown and uh, Littleton as well in Christchurch. Great place in uh, down Queenstown. Haven't actually explored Wellington in a very long time. Be uh, uh, probably seven or eight odd years since uh, last had a look around the city. Here an ATR starting up. Also starting to heat out a uh, dash eight. Just down the bottom here. Setting up those PW one two three engines. And our ATR from Christchurch, of course, with the uh, the PW one two sevens. Pratt and Whitney. G'day. Mike with the mic here. Taxiing left shortly. Lovely morning light here in Wellington. Still putting on a good show. About, uh, what's that? Three hours or so into the stream. Three and a half. Was that two and a half? No, that's two and a half. Someone, someone will be able to creep me. The, the ATR 72-600 written on the top of the tail. And a taxi in where this ATR is pulling out of. In between the, the jet gates. Mike picked the mic as you can see there. And the, uh, the PW127s. Just, uh, just going behind the terminal here at Wellington. Good day for it. It's our GA eight ear van. Getting off of runway one six here at the capital. And 
Q300 flight. This aircraft is uh, November Eco, Eco Uniform, flying to Nelson, New Zealand, 517 Lima. Past our A320. ATR to Christchurch departing 16. Mike Zulu Bravo, the uh, the registration of this ATR. It goes as our Nelson flight. We just came in taxi in front of us. Have a little look at the chat, see what's going on. James, good evening, watching from South Central Texas, USA. Great to have you tuning in. Welcome to the show, hope you enjoy. Someone new, Jash, tuning in. Welcome. And Boofer Drops also back. Pleasure to have your company here. A great morning here at Wellington. Uh, don't get any Fockers here in a. Uh, Wellington. For this uh, this Dash 8, similar size to a Fokker 50, in fact uh, the same capacity, departing off to Nelson. If you uh, if you wanna wanna see some Fockers, check out Saturday stream from uh, Brisbane. Plenty of uh, Fokker 100s and I think an odd Fokker 70 as well. Might have been thrown into the mix. Operated by Alliance Airlines in Australia. So uh, check that stream out if you like. No worries. Just a reminder to those of you who haven't already to uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. It's free to do so and your support is very much appreciated. Incredible to, to see the amount of support 
of the tour, growing a uh, thousand subscribers, about uh, sixty thousand viewers over the the eight days so far. Awesome to uh, have everyone's support. Thank you for tuning in. Got an Airbus A320 coming in from Auckland, New Zealand, 417. It's about uh, five minutes out at the moment. And just over to our right here. This Airbus A320, due to, de due to depart five minutes ago, hasn't pushed back just yet. Going to depart. 1055 according to flight radar back off to Auckland so two A320s in about five minutes time departure and uh, a landing looking forward to that Also looks like our uh, Cessna Citation CJ2 X-ray X-ray Kilo has uh, fueled up over the far side of the field from uh, from that truck. Goes over there. Hopefully we see that one depart soon. Seeing as we didn't get much uh, much noise on the arrival, I'm sure it'll be a uh, noisy departure. Tail of the uh, the A320, Oscar X-ray Echo, departing to uh, to Auckland very shortly. The windsock action as well. Light southerly breezes here in uh, in Wellington. Mind you, it does actually look a bit windier down there. Might just be the angle.
James. Nice looking houses there. Uh, what's the best city to live in in New Zealand? Wellington, Christchurch, or Auckland? Um, I don't know. All of them have their the good sides and their downsides. I think, uh, I think Christchurch is probably uh, one of the nicer places to live. I know, it all, all depends on what you want, I suppose. Um, yeah, Tarong is great for the beaches and everything. Oh, our, our CJ2 uh, is also taxing out. Great for the beaches. Gonna take that uh, new looking taxiway. So we saw this aircraft arrive earlier on in the stream. Zulu Kilo, X ray, X ray, Kilo. And our 320 also finally pushing back. Delayed for um, 13 minutes. Ali, saying we've got 160 likes now. That is awesome. Thank you guys for your support. Engine number two started up. Engine number one getting underway. All right, we've got our 320 from Auckland coming in. On a uh, on a final approach. The three twenty does look very good in the uh, in the light here at Wellington's morning. And here we go, X ray X ray kilo. the rotation unfortunately sorry about that and it's just gone 11 a.m. here at Wellington um, been live for about three and a half hours three and three quarter hours so uh, thank you to those that have uh, tuned in from the start, still watching, and of course, appreciate all my viewers, just as equally. Thank you for tuning in. Auckland's a bit warmer, Christchurch, capital of the south. That's that's true, homes are expensive everywhere. Um, tell you what, in Chicago you used to be able to grab a really nice house for a million million bucks like a mansion for a million bucks which would be terrible in a terrible house in some other cities like Auckland and A320 coming in from Auckland just on finals for 1.6 let's have a look the aircraft to start to get a little toplet here at Wellington. Of 
Angeles. You get that with a, uh, a north-south facing airport. Sun rising behind us. Makes for a great sunset in front of us. Fortunately not staying that long. Got to make my flight back home. After the, uh, the huge eight day trek around Australia and New Zealand. Thanks to those who've tuned in throughout the eight days. Appreciate having your company. Okay, cool, cool. Dash eight from uh, from Nelson, and then uh, Napier just behind it. Air Chathams as well. The ATR from the Chatham Islands coming in very shortly. Zealand livery on this Airbus A320 Oscar X-Ray Eco. Uh, off to Auckland. Plenty of action coming your way over the uh, next 10 or so minutes here in Wellington. Action pack. Hot head triple four. That zoom is incredible. Yeah, all three thousand mils plus uh, plus four times digital crop. I'm not using that on the tour. Scotty from uh, SHB Motorsport Productions. Great to have you tuned back in. Good morning. The uh, the last leg of the journey. Looking forward, looking forward to heading home. Although I've really enjoyed my my time out and about. Definitely uh, look at doing something else. I think um, we were having a talk about it in Melbourne, about uh, where I could spend my Qantas points heading off to to uh, do another one of these silly trips around around the place. And um, a good suggestion that I liked was uh, Honolulu for a bit of. Uh, Plane spotting action. Plenty of uh, plenty of things to see over there. Very, very good. All right, this is our 320 from Auckland. Uh, to Auckland, sorry. Uh, heading out before our three proper rivals from Napier, Nelson, and the Chathams. be some good sound coming out of here.
to see our dash eight on finals, albeit on the uh, the other side of the pole. Oh no, no, it's on screen there. Camera's uh, slightly further to the left. Michael, going well, mate. Beautiful Wellington, absolutely. It's uh, it's awesome here. Appreciating uh, the support from you. Okay, November Eco Zulu making its first appearance here on the stream. In from Nelson as New Zealand. 306 Lima backdrop of the water Which gate have we got for this dash eight? Hopefully one we can see it. Uh, no, it's, uh, it's coming in here. We are going to get a view of it. Next to our Dash 8 which is starting up. And watch watch the propellers as they uh, they feather. Going, go from being quite skinny and then uh, you're going out pretty wide. Pretty cool to watch. So we have another another Air New Zealand Q300 here at the Q300 capital. I think the the most Q300 movements out of any city in New Zealand. Behind it, we'll have our Air Chathams ATR 72 500, previously operated for Air New Zealand. And Barbara, hello. Be a nice close up of the props, definitely. Glad to be 
bringing the, the prop queen a dose of props here in Wellington. I've been Betty Tango there. You'll have to, um, you have to go back to the start of the stream when uh, Dashi's nest over here was just completely full of Q300s. Had uh, had some having to... At one point we had three aircraft just uh, idling, waiting for a gate earlier this morning. nest just down in front of us here. Yes. So just waiting for this one to taxi out before our Nelson flight taxis in. Air Chathams, ATR 72 just on final now. We'll spin around and uh, have a look. This aircraft was the second ATR delivered to Air Chathams. Both ATRs in the fleet formerly operated for Air New Zealand. They have ZKMCO and ZKMCU, which is this one coming in from the Chatham Islands. Do like the uh, the Air Chathams delivery, so. This should uh, should look nice. Would have loved to have seen it in the early morning sun here in Wellington, but uh, glad we get to see it now. Oh, that logo there. No, um, no writing on the Chatham's ATR, at least on this side. Quite interesting. Uh, Dash 8 just swinging around for its taxi to runway 16. And our ATR with the, with the backdrop here in Wellington. Zia, hello, welcome to Wellington. Uh, have you seen any other bigger planes? The biggest aircraft to operate here is the, the 321 Neo, unfortunately. Wellington used to have a uh, regular 777-200 and then uh, upgraded to the, the A350 with, uh, with Singapore Airlines going uh, Singapore, Melbourne to Wellington, but that service was uh, cut during COVID, yet to return unfortunately. uniform nice to have a bit of variety in the airlines on the uh, the prop nest as the ATRs invade there's only dashies at the the start of the stream until one left 
No, no, it's uh, it's off over there somewhere. So each items must uh, have their own special gate round the corner for the ATR. Imagine it's going to swing round to the right. And we'll be able to see the nose stick out. So we'll get back to that one. Zulu Kilo, Tanga else for whiskey. Is that whiskey? Is that yeah, yeah, Tanga Alpha whiskey. It's a uh, PA38, and we have a Dash 8 lined up ready to chase it down. Way one six here in the capital of New Zealand on the last day of the Australasia live plane spotting tour. Day eight of eight, airport six of six. It's way out there. Well, the Execute Jet Hangar is uh, opened up, and there's something inside. Let's uh, just pan around and have a look. What well, would appear to be the uh, the Falcon 50 November. 3.7 or whiskey x-ray might be another one behind it yeah so N37WX and N115MF are our two resident Falcon 50s uh, I went inside the the closer one N37WX in Hamilton Ooh, coming up three years ago super awesome there the pilots came up to me and uh, gave me a bag tag and then uh, then took me down to to have a look around the jet as they did the, the pre-flight preparations awesome looking jet um, is there anything over the right side? there is there's, there's two planes over, over the right side as well Looks to be a uh, citation. Little citation two or a CJ two or something. Let's just uh, set that up properly. Oh, actually, it's in there. A might be a resident uh, CJ four, I think, or CJ three. And in the back. Looks to be a King Air 360 or something like that. Actually, the winglet's uh no, no, that's a that's a TBM parked uh, at the back there. Awesome. 
hundred and uh, coming for hundred and eighty likes on the stream. Thank you guys for your support. You're having uh, everyone tuning into the stream this afternoon, or as we head into the afternoon. Sorry, still morning. Does feel a lot later. Having not got a sleep in or anything for the last uh, eight or so days. Eco Quebec X ray, this uh, another Piper. Another PA thirty eight heating off. Another plane uh, just on finals at the moment. Let's, uh, let's pull up some details on this one. This is uh, oh, this is um, Skyline Aviation's new King Air. I haven't uh, managed to see it before. Zulu Kilo Romeo Sierra Quebec coming from Via Base in Napier. King Air 200C. Quite a cool livery as well. Nice smooth landing there. Bit of rudder action, bit of elevator action as well. Taxi right, uh, just in front of the life flight hangars, I believe. Down to Charlie. Oh, see ya. Thanks for coming out. Ooh. That looks uh, a bit firm. That's a surprise, the uh, the Skyline Aviation. Taxiing over to ExecuJet. Gone a bit quiet here at Wellington. We do have Jetstar Airbus A320 coming in from Auckland. Jetstar Flight 259. It's an Airbus A320-200, reaches Victor Hotel. Victor Foxtrot Delta. Star pilots doing a great job here at Wellington today. 
smooth landing on my flight as well. So it'll come into our our Wellington, not Wellington gates that we were talking about a bit earlier. Some nice lighting. Do like this Jetstar livery, and of course, it's got the wingtip fences that I love. Regan, bye Harry, have a great rest of your day. Thank you very much for tuning in. Been here since the start. Uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in throughout the, the tour. Pleasure to have your company. All right, we're gonna get hit on with this Jetstar 320. Making its way in after a flight from Auckland. That's coming into the other gate. It's the one that I came in on. Not the the Wellington, not Wellington gate. Nice to see a bit of air bridge action after it uh, shuts down. interaction down there. Uh, 
cool jet bridge, jet bridge action there from the, the 320 from Auckland. Jetstar Flight 259. Choke my jumper on again for um, protection from the sun. It's not uh, it's not hot, but the the sun rays are definitely coming coming in. So we've got uh, Cessna 402 over here just uh, currently doing some mapping via yeah, the appropriate registration. Zulu Kilo, Mike, Alpha Papa, ZK Map. ATR coming in overhead, not coming in. Going to Rotor Rua. And next arrival, 17 minutes away. Enjoying, enjoying the nice sun, which I uh, haven't had on uh, on the stream so far. It's a shame that the uh, the 757 took off from uh, RNZAF Ohakia before, didn't didn't come south, heading north currently towards Hamilton. Uh, must be due for our, our Qantas 73 coming in at some point. Melbourne to Wellington still two hours away, so 135. I think that's a uh, that's bang on time. Yeah, looking forward to that. South FX, does the A380 ever land in New Zealand? Yes, it goes to Christchurch and Auckland. Auckland gets daily from Dubai. Christchurch, which we, uh, we we saw it yesterday departing at the end of the stream. I arrived on it from Sydney. So yesterday, yesterday afternoon I arrived on it from, from Australia into Christchurch. And then we watched the departure. And yeah, Auckland daily from Dubai. Christchurch, as we did actually mention on the on the stream yesterday, is the smallest city in the world to get a daily A380 service. Yeah, jet bridge action. Uh, quite cool to watch in close up. Tony, got to get my stuff together. <laughs> Thanks again, Harry. No worries. Thank you for uh, for your support throughout the uh, the tour hoping to, to see you again on uh, future live streams and maybe I'll get up to Auckland again uh, next week or this week end of this week see how we go probably not but uh, I'll have a look Tony, great stream in a new location for me. See you next time. Bye, mods and others. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. 
absolutely ripper weather yet to uh, today. Pleasure having you on the stream, Tony. Impulse Aviation, also back, having lunch at the Spruce Goose, nice place on a sunny day, that the, that's the cafe across the, the other side of the field isn't it, um, I wasn't planning on it, I would have to finish the stream up a bit earlier if I was going to head over there, and then, uh, and then get back for my 4pm flight home. So uh, that's it over there. Looks like a great location for a uh, for a bit of spotting action. But uh, no, no, I wasn't wasn't planning on it. So next arrival, about uh, 10 minutes out from Rotorua, followed by ATR from Hamilton, which we saw depart earlier, I think. No, it was a different one uh, in Hamilton. They get the, the Christchurch and the Wellington flights in at the same time, and then they swap over. So the one that came in from Christchurch goes to Wellington. And the Wellington goes to Christchurch. Max, good morning, Harry, and everyone. Pleasure to have you here on a uh, beautiful sunny day in Wellington. 20 minutes to midday at the moment. Uh, I'll carry you through into the into the early afternoon for another another hour or 50. Two hours of plane spotting action before we uh, wrap up the stream for the final time on the Australasia live plane spotting tour. So uh, thank you for tuning in every now and then, Max. And Carol as well. Hello, all. Very beautiful location, isn't it? Just water on both sides of the runway. Got our dashy nest down here. Ah, oh, see you Felix. Back to a, uh, a one-man show. So, yeah, great spot here. Wellington Airport. Yeah, Felix uh, a bit shy to come on the on the mic, unfortunately. Uh, is that the APU on the New Zealand 320? Maybe. Ooh, 
we've got some uh, some ULD action. Containers heading into the Jetstar Airbus. So I was I was sitting this morning about uh, in a, in three foxtrots out the front there, and you could just see the see the door to the cargo hold just popping up. Tell you what, it's a much quicker, much quicker wait for your bags um, on an A320 than it is for the 7.3, because of course the 7.3 can't take the containers. So, any police action anyway. Uh, so yeah, you got to wait for the bags to be offloaded individually, as opposed to they will just come out at once on the 320. So yeah, as you can see, they're being loaded in. Sounds like we might have a prop ATR. Has uh, started down in front of the terminal there. Be taxiing out. Top of the ATR 72, popping over the top of the terminal. The Seacraft, Mike Victor Mike, off to Christchurch. Flight review on the Seacraft is uh, up on YouTube. New Zealand 5082 from uh, Nelson to Auckland. So check it out up on the channel. at uh, somewhere somewhere in those seats can't remember where it might have been 9 or 10 D and uh, Mike Delta Charlie the King Air 200 oh uh, no is it 200? no it can't be a 200 wouldn't be a 200 it's a uh, no it is a 200 Super King Air Uh, over there. Just uh, going past me. 
So there's our King Air 200 and ATR 72 of Air Wanganui and Air New Zealand. That's our uh, Dash 8 from Rotorua. Currently on finals, New Zealand 233 Lima. So that ATR probably going to have to wait for the arrival. Probably time for a couple of Tim Tams, kindly given to me by Julia Flights. <laughs> brought over to to Christchurch up to Wellington time to have a few more of those so thank you to Julia and Gavin for giving giving those to me Q300 from Rotorua here we go runway 16 at Wellington Uh, yep. Just, uh, just got a dash eight coming in. Ah, uh, where is it? There it is. I suppose it's uh, slightly closer to the gates if it goes down there. And dash 8 also uh, starting up getting the push. Yes, it is. ATR 72. Mike Victor Mike off the Christchurch. As New Zealand 371 Mike. One out, one in, as we uh, as we say here on the channel. ATR seventy two on its way in. Hello, hello. I'm crushing for some. Right, let's have a look. Uh, coming in from Hamilton, Mike Victor Juliet, and then uh, the Airbus A three twenty from Dunedin. Oscar Juliet Quebec saw it depart earlier on in the stream. And from Dunedin. Right. ATR time. Runway 
taxi into the gate in between the uh, in between the jet gates. And our TM, Mike Delta Charlie. Plus A3 2200. Now pushing back from uh, I think it's gate 13. action there on OXM okay, let's see if it's up on the radar it is New Zealand 424 after Auckland So got an A320 coming in from Dunedin. So once again, uh, double A320 movements, and then the Jetstar A320 also should be looking at coming out shortly. Been around and have a look at this one coming in from Dunedin. ZKOJS go through 20 that we saw depart earlier in the stream. Coming in on approach for runway 16 here at Wellington International Capital Airport. Uh, the Wellington International Airport, the capital of New Zealand. Thinking about too many things all at once. Not great when you're tired. So yes, day 8, the final day of the Australasia live plane spotting tour here at the final, final stream at the final airport. Port has been absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much. Look forward to doing more things like this in the future. Putting its left gear down first. Oscar Juliet Sierra. Hi.
Oscar Juliet Sierra, the, the lovely wings and pinkses. And he's in dash eight. There it is. Get the rotation, sorry about that. Well, double A320 movement here in Wellington. Coming up midday here in Wellington on the final day of the Australasia Land Plains Project Tour. Max saying, uh, looks amazing in Wellington compared to when I was there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a real treat. Lovely sunny day in Wellington. I suppose you don't get too many like this as they say. And I think I'm going to have to agree with that. I mean, the, the, the few times I've been here, it hasn't been great. Yeah. That's right, finally got a great day. Uh, Stealthy Vex, 4 p.m. flight home, off to Tauranga. The uh, New Zealand Dash 8 going to take me there. I haven't actually looked at the, uh, the registration. Jessica might be uh, might be checking that one out. So speaking of the dash eight, one moving on the south side here at Wellington. Here we are, November Eco Hotel. Uh, first time flying on that one for me. So that's awesome to have a new registration. Right. Carol watching from the southwest US Sunday evening uh, hopefully it's a, it's a great evening over there not too windy not too cold thank you for tuning in Dash 8 on the move. Right, A320 to Auckland. Uh, let's get some information on this flight. Oscar X ray Mike flying in New Zealand 424, the, uh, the one hour odd flight back up to the, uh, the former capital of New Zealand. firefighting crew having a bit of fun. Let's have a listen to the uh, the B2500 engines here. Just uh, gonna pop up. Here we go. And 
as uh, this Jetstar A320 should be uh, hanging out shortly. Dash 8 in New Zealand. Line up runway 16 for its departure. NET back uh, back home to Tauranga. New Zealand uh, 260 Lima. Saw 250 depart uh, just before. Two, three engines powering that. Great sound. Jonathan, good morning, Harry, and all late to the uh, to late to the final party. But uh, good to be here. Great to have your company. It's uh, quite quite difficult to be out here when you're so exhausted. But um, it's, a, it's a pleasure. Just about uh, what have we got? Hour and a half to go until we uh, wrap things up here with the Qantas Boeing 73. QF171 going to be the final movement. Picked hotel, X-ray Zulu Eco has the uh, the honours of flying that one. Saw that a couple of times over in Australia, so um, see that one again. A320 landing from Dunedin just there. Live, laugh, love back in the chat as well. G'day from Melbourne. Uh, hopefully it's warmed up. I think. Um, that Michael was saying that it was six degrees there earlier. Weather widget's still saying 11 degrees, but I don't think it's updated. truck action for you guys. Rescue 3.
Looking forward to a little bit of uh, jet bridge action uh, soon. This is Jetstar 320. Be departing back up to Auckland, I believe. And Eco Quebec X ray, the uh, one of the PA 38s, been doing a bit of touch and go action. Hollywood 101 USA. Good late Sunday afternoon from LA. Welcome to a uh, midday tomorrow. Wish to have your company here. That is about still in the chat from uh, from very early on this morning. Still can't get over how beautiful the location of the airport is. Definitely uh, got limited room to grow but it's a great place for spotting lots of different angles that you wouldn't get anywhere else in New Zealand. Warmed up now over in uh, Melbourne. Expected to be 23 degrees. They only put on the good weather once I leave. Thank you for that Melbourne. bit of fire track action there from Max. Uh, just the just the two dash eights down those gates and also sounds here PC twelve and uh, two oh eight. Also uh, also here we've got two three twenties one New Zealand one Jet Star and uh, that's pretty much it. Got one of the King Airs over here that we saw arrive. This is the uh, the Skyline Aviation, the new King Air. An ATR coming in. light as it uh, hangs the lift here. Takes us into the original terminal in Wellington. Oh no, we've missed it. We've missed our uh, exciting jet bridge action. But the good news is A320 set to depart. We'll be pushing back very shortly from uh, Jet Star Gates. Corners from Melbourne, an hour 20 away. Looking forward to that one arriving bang on time. How's that? Six likes away from uh, 200. Thank you for your support, everyone. Much appreciated. The uh, the New Zealand streams on the way back not doing uh, nearly as well as the as the Australian streams. Quite interesting. 
but uh, thank you for your support everyone. Uh, the good thing about streaming over here in New Zealand, the, <laughs> the internet connection seems to be a lot smoother, a lot easier to find than in New Zealand, uh, in Australia. On the push now, Victor Foxtrot Delta. The bus A3 2200 of uh, Jetstar Airways, subsidiary of Qantas. Quite cool watching them push back from these gates. They do it a bit differently as opposed to the, the other A320s of New Zealand. Much coming in. That's oh, right. I'll, ha I'll have a look if you're looking at something else. One more like. Oh, that's cool. I don't mind saying two. Maybe someone unliked. How rude. Woohoo! There we go, 200 likes. Thank you everyone. Awesome support on this. Uh, it's going to be a slightly longer stream, probably the, uh, the longest I've done so far. Started at, uh, what, 8.15 this morning. Coming up to 1,700 subscribers as well. Awesome to see. Four and a half hours, five yeah, five hours is the longest so far. That um, that afternoon Sydney one. Tugs out of here, and we are ready to go for the uh, Jetstar 320. Getting off to Auckland from the way. Uh, not quite on the radar just yet. Now we get to kind of zoom into the wingtip fences. Flaps are out. And taxiing out to runway 16, Wellington International Airport. The final day, day 8. Out of eight at airport six of six here at Wellington. Ali saying uh, arrival from Queenstown, you must say three twenty forty mon forty one minutes away. About forty minutes now. Thank you for that.
That is about saying your channel growth is well deserved, mate. Thank you. It's thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Julia Fights was saying that it's uh, probably the fastest growing channel out there doing uh, plane spotting live streaming. Most likely due to, due to the uh, the daily streams. But uh, no, it's uh, quite incredible. Applied for uh, monetization this morning on the on the uh, while sitting on the plane in Christchurch, about to push back. So that'll that'll take a I think about 48 hours. Julia Flight said it took for them. So um, YouTube's just reviewing the channel at the moment. And who knows? Maybe we'll have. have it by the end of the stream not sure what happens would I would I have to restart the stream or would it just appear that'd be interesting it's almost 60,000 views on the uh, on the tour so far that is incredible never expected it to to be quite that large Let's see is it on radar yet yes it is Jetstar flight 258 back off to Auckland came down as 259 Victor Hotel Victor Foxtrot Delta and we got a dash 8 also pushing back Quite cool, actually, seeing the seeing the prop planes just getting pushed back. Don't see them at uh, regional airports. Right, three twenty tower. back in the chat as well from Dubai good morning to you live laugh love when will I be doing Melbourne next anytime soon well I don't have anything booked but uh, yeah, I don't really want to go back in winter to be honest it's April and that was <laughs> that was the coldest spot of the trip three layers on and still uh, having to walk around in between movements to try and keep warm 10 subscribers away from 1700 thank you guys so much for the support Jessica's got a, a live count up what was that? It is actually hot out here.
Uh, it's just the, it's just the, the sun. Yeah, that hasn't updated since the, since the start of the stream. It's not very accurate. I might have to get rid of it. So I'm going to have to do a bit of a renovation on the overlays. So thank you guys for, for your feedback throughout. Fingers crossed it doesn't the rain doesn't arrive uh, too soon. XXK, our private jet that we've seen, flew up to Taupo and is now Queenstown bound. Can't see where I'm looking on the radar. Oh, it's uh, just up there somewhere. Won't be able to find it though. Zealand helicopters and planes 36 also back. Welcome. And Rats OCE, good morning from YBRK. Um, YBRK, doesn't ring any bells. But uh, good morning. Afternoon over here. Thank you for tuning in. Rockhampton. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, good morning to you from over on the, the east coast of Australia. I think uh, Bonza is quite a, uh, Rockhampton is quite a focus town for Bonza. few flights coming in and out of there. Awesome to see. Dash 8 off to Nelson. 323 three Lima, the, the flight departing just there.
William, mate, where are your super chat or uh, PayPal account so we can donate to you? I have greenbacks slash dead presidents. Would like to donate to help out your channel. Um, super chats are on the way. Uh, I've applied for them this morning, actually. My watch hours just got approved. So, we're up to now. So, they've, um, they've approved my AdSense count today, and um, YouTube's currently reviewing the channel. So, it won't, won't be, uh, won't be any money coming through on the, on this tour. But, uh, future live streams, there absolutely will be. I'm about four hours, actually, away from, from the full monetization, which I obviously already have, um, but YouTube hasn't uh, verified them or something like that. Don't know what they check the uh, the watch hours for, perhaps bots and if anything else. Not sure. They've probably got a reason. Just uh, a bit annoying for me. Who would have had would have had that all sorted out on Wednesday? But here we are, almost a week later. Rats OCE, how you doing, man? Uh, doing pretty well. Quite tired. Looking forward to eating home, but um, but enjoying sharing Wellington Airport with you guys today. The uh, the only streamer here at Wellington for for the tour. Thank you for thank you for watching. Flight coming in on finals. It's a dash eight. One out from Nelson. A uh, one out to Nelson. One in from Nelson. Here we go. Lost it before I even got found it. There we are. sun behind it. Oh, the joys of a, uh, a north-south runway. Cam. This aircraft, November Eco Uniform, saw it depart off to Nelson earlier in the stream. Only seven subscribers away from the big uh, 1700. So uh, thank you for all who have uh, subscribed to the channel. For those of you who haven't, it's free to do, and uh, really helps my my channel out a lot. Very much appreciated.
quite cool looking uh, top down on the dashes just being able to see the whole wing straight across there oh another one in on uh, runway 16 here in Wellington Uh, this is our uh, Timaru flight coming back in. November Echo Charlie, the one with the, the squished up registration on the back. Different to uh, all the Dash 8s. Hopefully, it uh, taxis somewhere we can see it and I'll show you guys the comparison Next in, Air New Zealand flight 600 coming in from Queenstown. Saw this flight depart earlier. Fireworks or something. And it also looks like we've got New Zealand 326 coming in shortly after. I think that's. Uh, that's the action for the next five or so minutes. Let's uh, see what we can see this way. You're right, you're right. You're short enough. Juliet Sierra, the uh, the registration coming in about uh, eight hundred feet. Let's get a bit closer. A little bit of haze about. But uh, at least it's actually war.
with a nice light on it with the uh, the water backdrop. Very nice. around the other side to gate 13 here at Wellington we're going to have three A320s on the ground in uh, just a few moments Rats OCE love the camera work, camera work. thank you very much uh, does get a bit iffy at times, but um, surely I can use tired as an excuse for that. Hey, grand and proper grandparents tuning in from uh, home. Fantastic streaming over the week, coupled with uh, awesome commentary. Done so well, be proud. Stripe is looking forward to you being home. Yeah, he's probably a bit skinnier than when we last saw him. Right, Bertram, a uh, great supporter of the stream. Good night from Trinidad, enjoying the stream. Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you f on uh, on future streams. Small little dashy parking up in the nest. Yes, uh, was there three down there at the moment? Here's our 320, not too far away now. Coming in from Christchurch. Yeah, just on a just on a long final coming past the city. The logo on the uh, the New Zealand planes have to be one of your favourites. Sort of laugh, love. Uh, yeah, you know it's a, it's it's a very nice logo. Also coupled with the silver fern. Um, yeah, no, it's uh, definitely one of the favourites. South FX, Harry, are you a pilot who flies small planes? Well, I do. Do training. Flown a few, uh, few solo missions as well. But uh, not not certified pilot. start the legs were um, definitely not enjoying it <laughs> tell you what the the wheelchairs at Auckland Airport those were a, a nice relief on the first day yeah All right. see the A320 just right out there not behind a pole, hopefully. Zulu Kilo, Oscar X-Ray Kilo, the uh, the 320 in from Christchurch. New Zealand 326, the uh, flight number. Come out quarter to uh, quarter to one at the moment. So 
have a uh, status update on our Qantas 7-3. Three quarters of an hour out at the moment. So we'll see that one land and, uh, and we'll pack up the tour. ATR 72 taxiing out from uh, between the jet gates. Awful, uh, awful having the light coming in from behind the planes. Some, uh, some really nice light at the start of the stream if you uh, want to go back and have a look at that. Once we're finished up, of course. to Hamilton this ATR, New Zealand 5812. Seeing in a, a lot slower than plenty of other airplanes have been. I know uh, Qantas is uh, a little rocket when they're taxiing in. My ATR departing also. Hamilton bound. Time to break out the, the Julia Flights Tim Tams.
bit of weather beginning to move in here in Wellington. And here New Zealand Dash 8 pushing back and starting up as well. I saw a picture of uh, me standing next to a very small white plane for the, uh, the Euro Club. Uh, that was probably on my first solo to be honest. That's, uh, that's all I can think of. Real small, it would have been a, a 152. Top speed, about 120 knots. The, the top speed for a 152. Not quick at all. No, it wouldn't be 120, it'd be more than that. Maybe 160. Let's have a little Google. It's 204 kilometers an hour. That says 108 knots, that doesn't sound very fast at all. Live, laugh, love. Amazing views, perfect for an airport, absolutely. Really enjoying my time here in uh, in the capital. Welcome back. <laughs> I 
No, mine dies in about an hour, so that's why I have to get one of these. Yeah. Oh yeah, like one of those. Sort of like that. Yeah, same with this one. But yours is so much smaller. That's this. This is massive, and it does the same. Hmm. True. Dash eight. Lining up runway one six. This one off to Blenheim, top of the south. November Eco Romeo, the registration. Globo, congrats on the tour, thank you. It's been a whole heap of fun and also very tiring at the same time. Almost just a blur, but I tell you what, it's an exciting blur. Parting on the short hop as we uh, we have this weather just, uh, starting to come in. As it uh, as it ticks over 1 p.m. at Christchurch. Christchurch? Oh my God! Wellington! Woo! At least someone's paying attention. I'm the one that's talking, maybe I should be paying attention. <laughs> Thank you. Half an hour out, our um, Qantas 7-3 in from Melbourne. Sounds here 208 lined up, ready to go on 1-6 here in not Christchurch. But the other one. Oh perfect. That's just cloud. That's right, it'll probably make it easier to see the planes with the sun not coming in from behind. Sounds Air Flight 269, Sierra Alpha Alpha. Once again on a hop, probably to Picton. It's the, the main place they fly the caravans. machines to fire on there, especially if you get uh, seat 1B and occasionally they let you sit in the, the jump seat or the co-pilot seat. Because uh, they're generally only uh, one pilot aircraft. So I got that pleasure on, on barrier air a couple of years ago. Definitely uh, worth asking. Air New Zealand 321 Neo from Brisbane landing in two hours. Uh, I won't be out for that one. I could be, but um, I don't think I really want to be. Let's have a look. Is that it there? That's uh, uh, Sydney Auckland. There it is. New Zealand 272, November, November Golf, inbound to Wellington, in an hour 52. So I, c I could be out here for it, but see how we go. Is that Whiskey Alpha Charlie, I suppose?
Globo? Yeah, I do. Uh, hopefully, off to Dubai to train with the Emirates next year. See how we go. Fingers crossed. And uh, a bit more firefighting action. Rescue one just uh, reversing into the station. Still a little bit wet from where they had uh, a bit of fun earlier in the stream. The Air Chatham's ATR 72 now coming back out to play. Mike Charlie uniform, I think. Yep. This aircraft will be departing back to the Chatham Islands. Nice looking aircraft. As I mentioned earlier, it's quite strange that Air Chatham's hasn't put uh, their name on it, just the, they've got the logo, obviously uh, 44 South, and they do have Air Chatham's written up the front there, and um, yeah, it just, just needs a bit of signage. As the uh, the cloud cover starts blocking out the sun here in Wellington, Yeah, the Chatham Air's ATR will be departing back to the Chatham Islands as uh, 3C932, the flight number there, 3C being Air Chathams. just uh, popped back to say hi for a little bit and the uh, the inter-islander ferry uh, just over over there back in from a uh, trip to Picton Fantastic, good luck with Emirates, thank you. Um, hopefully all will be well. And uh, Dash Shade about to start up. November Echo Uniform back yet again to Nelson
of wind just uh, coming in the mic there. Air Chathams ATR 72 lined up for a flight back to the Chathams. The Stash 500 pre previously owned by Air New Zealand. Starting to get a little bit of wind. Here we go. Awesome to see a uh, different airline flying some bigger planes here in Wellington. But here we are, back to the same old, same old Q300. Who doesn't like a Q300 though? Much superior to the ATR. It's back. 
Origin Air Jetstream 32 Zulu Kilo, Juliet Sierra Kilo This aircraft visited uh, earlier this morning One of the three that had to uh, idle for a very long time before finally getting a gate Actually no, it, it didn't have to it went on a little tiki tour of the airport going round to the New Zealand gates turning around and then coming to the gates in between um, in between the jets so I think that's where our origin air usually parks just uh, down here so it'll make a slight left hand turn here and uh, come to the gates in New Zealand dash 8 rotating off of 1.6 Uh, 355 oh. um, it might be the one that's oh the wingtip fences sharklets are the other, other ones the, the ones that looks like a shark fin bigger one yeah could be little pointy ones hey I like them this, these ones uh, yeah probably that's right the 757 has those uh, the sharklets just the, the bowling ones Yeah, like uh, United 75s. I don't think there's many Dash 300 757s that don't have the uh, anything on the wings. So this this flight, yeah. In the background there, with the air bridge attached to the rear being cancelled due to engine problems. Pretty sure it's that one. can't see the Rego but it's been sitting there for quite a while ah I don't know when I'm going to come back <laughs> should be Oh, yeah, yeah. So what, just on, on that side on the corner? Right. There you go, the south facing uh, plane spotter hotel rooms at the ridges. Uh, they're the ones to go for. <laughs> Not being from New Zealand forced me to uh, Google Maps and find out about some of these locations. Yes, they're up in the in the nicknamed Minecraft car park. <laughs> Here at the uh, at the terminal. It's the the only car park really. Only car park building, yeah. Ah right, so this is just short term. Maybe. Sure, we could just leave the car here. Ah, yeah. Yeah, plenty of um, 
Plenty of good spots to spot from in Wellington. Harry, which do you prefer? A380 or 747? Just curious. Uh, I prefer the A380 over the newer 747. But the older ones over over the new. A Qantas 747-400 or something. 747-SP. Something. I've, I've always preferred older Boeing over Airbus but Airbus over newer Boeing that's that's what I go by <laughs> mm, they used to fly the SP in here quite often And then there's the the 747-400, I think, did land here empty from Auckland once upon a time here in New Zealand. Oh, that's cool, yeah. <laughs> Live, laugh, love. Waiting on uh, Qantas flying from Melbourne's before running my rands. Yeah, I think I'm probably about the same. Yeah, that that's the that's the nice SP photo. Is that the that's the you go back to the um the colour one? Yeah that's Yeah that's in the the retro retro one livery, I think. Currently on one of their seven threes. Bo, tuning in, just got back from plane spotting in Auckland, saw uh, A380 and 747 land. Oh, is that the, uh, the Atlas 74? Or maybe it, maybe it was Singapore. Singapore arrives later on or earlier, like really early. Very, very nice. Ah yes, heard of heard of all the locations. Just need to understand where they are in relation to Wellington. Yeah, well, I, <laughs> I only just found out that the airport and the terminal's not actually on the city side. For some reason, I I never figured that out until now. So it looks like the uh, the front A320 there is boarding. Looking forward to seeing that one. Off to probably Christchurch. One to Christchurch, one to Auckland. Both um, both heading out. And then um, not much between so there's nothing between 1.45 and 2.35 departing. So that's uh, quite a long break. And then we get our, we get our Qantas 7.3 arriving next. In less than 10 minutes time. And that's the last movement until 2.10. Oh no no because we got the we got the A three twenties hitting out. On the on the Qantas. Oh the was it the Qantas seven three? Yeah, not the not virgin ones. Dedication, eh? Uh, what's that? No, that's Melbourne, Auckland. Sydney or Wellington, QF161 arriving. An hour 33. And uh, QF171, just over the Cook Strait.
Yeah, it was the Atlas Air QF171, landing 133. Looking forward to it. Thirty-eight, still on the move. QF one seven one. About to turn on to finals. Way off in the distance, somewhere can't quite see it. It'll be with us in about five minutes' time. And we've just passed 1,700 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. There's been a, that's incredible. The uh, the amount of support. What does it say five thousand percent uh, <laughs> more growth than the uh, previous twenty eight days on uh, the YouTube stats. So that's um. Hang on, let me do some math. Yeah, it's it's just not busy enough to warrant going up to the the islands. I was talking about that in Melbourne and so I think we we decided Honolulu would be a great spot to go to next. Mm. Get plenty of US safes. Oh, I was meant to go to, I don't know, somewhere in the US. Well, that would have been nice. And Pete, also back. Hi Harry, welcome. Just about to witness what might be... I reckon we'll stay out for that A320 departure. But it's one of the last movements of the Australasia live plane spotting tour. As it gets a bit cold so I might... Uh, might yeah, I, I will. Maybe I might, I might stay up here. But... Um, I'm <laughs> done with the streaming. I need a break. After about... Yeah, exactly. After about 70 hours of live plane spotting coverage over 8 days. 6 airports and uh, here we are. Approaching the end of day 8 here in Wellington. Did you? That's awesome.
thank you for that, yeah. Uh, might just be able to zoom into QF171. Coming from Melbourne, of course I flew this flight in uh, March of last year. And uh, look forward to be publishing the flight review of that. Hopefully sometime soon. There it is. That's nice. Um, uh, trails coming off the flaps of that Qantas 73XZE, the registration. Never thought I'd be excited to see a Qantas 73 again. So enjoy this as we follow it the entire way into Wellington. That is a uh, 3000 millimeters of zoom you're looking at there. What is it? A 740. Oh yeah, I've got that on the table as well use it for my reviews and everything else yeah. what 300 mils oh that's still not too bad to be honest oh jeez passing through what's that 13 no 1200 feet here Just gonna slip behind the uh, the final pole. Did forget about that. <laughs> That's right. At least it's not as bad as Melbourne. Pole City. Three hours and fifteen minutes later after departing from Melbourne QF171 picked a hotel uh, X-Ray Zulu Echo coming in for runway 16 here in Wellington should be an interesting landing, let's watch this Qantas 737 800 not oh is it is it is it gonna go long no nah, it's gonna it's gonna um, turn right around there we'll get hit on with the uh, the Qantas 73 as it makes its way to the international terminal This aircraft painted in the old Qantas livery, as you can see the uh, the roof still has its uh, arms.
see that uh, Qantas will be upgrading the Brisbane Wellington service from the E190 that it currently operates to the uh, the Boeing 737. Not so interesting for Wellington plane spotters, but. Uh, <laughs> but good for passenger experience as the E190 doesn't have any sort of seat back entertainment or Wi-Fi or much or probably not even that to be honest Coming in from the, the land of Sid Squad. Pleasure meeting uh, Kurt. What would that have been? Saturday Saturday evening. Kurt for you stream. Only the best. Yes. Obviously everybody's two favourite plane spotting live stream YouTubers uh, meeting. Vinny Banks, just tuned back in. You're still here, bro. You deserve a well-earned break. Exhausting stuff. Thank you for bringing uh, the shows. Thoroughly enjoyed every day of it, mean as. Awesome to hear, and uh, look forward to doing it. Well, not not quite the same trip, but um, a trip here again soon. So we go the uh, the first international movement of the stream, making its way in for gate twenty nine. Which is usually where one seven one parks. And as you can hear Oh, you might not be able to hear, but uh, New Zealand A320 starting up. New Zealand Dash 8 out. Qantas 7-3 making its way in. And we'll get a little bit of jet bridge action here. Once more. Qantas 7-3, everyone. Oh yes, Life Flight King here. Saw it in the hangar, making its way out as well. Some great action coming your way. In New Zealand A320. Departing off to Christchurch. Zealand 359. Oh, that looks awesome. So bright. ZE. As you can hear the uh, the air bridge, the alarms blaring. So life flight has actually backtracked down to the end, turned around off for an immediate departure off of runway 16 
the King Air 350. Oh, lovely. 100 tuning in. So the Air New Zealand Airbus A320 Zulu Kilo Oscar X-Ray Kilo just beginning its taxi out to 1.6 for departure to Christchurch. As New Zealand 359er. This, this aircraft on screen, ZKOXK, will be the final movement of the Australasia Live Plane Spotting Tour. Pleasure having your company with us, uh, I'm sure, throughout the tour, but uh, also right now here in Wellington. Another season of 208. Eco Alpha Yankee. Oh, Eco Alpha Victor, sorry. Two eight. Grand Caravan, 28 Caravan, 675 apparently, the, the exact model. That's the sound of our GA8 air van. saying uh, on behalf of all subscribers thoroughly enjoyed your streams on your tour thank you very much for your time and dedication much appreciated after today after today go get yourself a decent sleep and a decent break i will i'll uh, definitely enjoy not having to get up at ridiculous times in the morning to uh, come and give you guys a bit of free plane spotting coverage uh, on the next stream we will have super chats and everything else enabled I don't know about uh, about doing memberships I do I don't know what the uh, what to make any sort of perks because uh, I do want to bring um, the sort of coverage free for uh, everyone to watch I do enjoy doing that but uh, I'll, I'll I'll think about it Maybe some people in the chat will have um, have some ideas or membership perks. But uh, thank you for your support, Pete. 
Uh, ho hope you're feeling well after you can come out at, um, at Brisbane. That was a uh, quite a shame. But uh, e New Zealand A320, just over there. <laughs> Prince of Humbug, what Pete said. Thank you very much. What a way to finish the tour here. Finishing off with about 240 likes. Can we get to 250? We'll, uh, we'll see. Ooh. Captain Josh, gate 49 for international, but 29 for domestic. Oh, okay, yes. I was just reading what was on the... On the on the, um, the apron. Right, here we go. The last movement of the live tour off to Christchurch, where I was uh, last night, yesterday. into some gloomy weather above Wellington. I'm sure they'll have a uh, bit of a bumpy flight down to Christchurch. So we follow it uh, all the way out. It's actually quite sad. <laughs> Finally finishing the tour up. Just check the, uh, the last couple of chat messages. Or, uh, I'll spin the camera around and say goodbye. <laughs> Lucky are those living on the hills with the live plane action to watch and hear. Just amazing. The views at night would be mind blowing. It would be uh, actually quite a few houses you can not only just look over the airport but also get uh, get a good look at the arrivals. Plenty down there and also off to the left. Ah, oh. do do we, do we? <laughs> do we? I can. I think I might. Ten to two. My flight's not for another two hours. Is it? Yeah. Fish. No security. Nothing. Yeah, two hours. Alright, I'm going to stay out for this one. Air New Zealand Airbus A320-200 off to Auckland. Oscar Juliet Sierra, the registration here, flying New Zealand 432. Jonathan, thank you for your work, Harry. Would uh, love to come out when you're streaming from Auckland again. Take care. I'll be back in Auckland, definitely. It'll be, um, be my next... Um, next trip probably just a return to Auckland and back so um, yeah love love plane spotting in Auckland will definitely be up sometime soon thank you for your company throughout this, the uh, the tour and yeah live love love thank you for uh, free coverage my pleasure love doing it loved um, watching the channel grow it's been absolutely incredible to watch Pete, feeling better, got some energy back, that's awesome to hear. Take care. So, what will actually be the final movement of the stream, maybe, given that nothing else interesting is going to come in. Just uh, push back, starting up there. Bit of wind here in Wellington. Uh, and nothing too interesting coming in. An ATR followed by a Dash 8.
I'll get them. There we go. Why not put them back up there? That's alright, the top one's fine. Bit of sun coming out on the Air New Zealand Airbus A32200 with my, my favourite winglets. The, uh, the wingtip fences there. Started up, ready for taxi. <laughs> gotta, gotta see it. Gotta stay. Skux, hey, I was gonna come out spotting today and see you, but it's a bit windy. It's actually, actually been a lovely day out here. Not too windy. But, um, no, I appreciate the thought. <laughs> Please go back to Melbourne when it's warmer. I, I will be back. Definitely um, a very chill airport when it comes to streaming, Melbourne. So, um, I do appreciate that. Misha, good morning from Cologne. Welcome to Wellington. Just uh, got the final movement of the live plane spotting tour beginning its taxi on screen now. That's right, my next stream will have a, a much more accurate temperature reader. <laughs> yeah, yeah, temperature's just dipped a bit. Oh, look at that. I was actually looking at the Auckland Airport hovercraft on the, on the time I was up there. Quite a massive thing there. ATR also just started up. But we'll, uh, we'll just grab this A320 taxiing out to runway 16. Oh, it's an Orange Near Jetstream 32 for the fourth time today. Jason, well done, Harry, for the tour and uh, almost a thousand subs. Yeah, it's been uh, been more than a thousand now, um, as well uh, including myself. Look forward to the next stream down the track. Cheers. 
Texas Dirt Fishing back in the back in the chat from uh, near Dallas Fort Worth. Great to have you tuning in. Welcome to the the last movements of the tour here at the moment. ATR just coming in. Jetstream 32 on the move. Might have to might have to watch this one depart seeing as I screwed up the first departure. So ATR is going to taxi over to the prop gates down the far end. Oh yes, that's that's always pretty cool when they uh, they put the hand right up, showing them the uh, pin and everything else. Sue so, tuning in for the uh, the last time on the tour. Welcome back. Ah, uh, yes, yes, the uh, the rescue boat. Saw it just earlier. All right, we'll stay out for the jet stream 32, and that that will be just just one more plane, guys. One more plane. <laughs> I haven't been uh, too worried about missing extra departures so far. But uh, now when it's the last one on the tour, bit different. Oscar Juliet Sierra back off to Auckland. And see, so yeah, as we were talking about earlier, see the, the bags have to get unloaded individually on the 7.3 as opposed to the, uh, the unit load device things on the 320s. Much quicker. ZK, JSK, making their short hop back to Nelson here. The final movement of the Australasia Live Plane Spotting Tour. Pleasure having your company as it just goes 2 p.m. here in Wellington. Stream rocket ship making its way out. All right, let's bring the camera around. We can all say hello. I've got I've got the camera way up on a on a tripod. Yeah, that'll that'll do there. Um, just lock it in place. All right. Thank you guys for um, tuning in. It's been an absolute pleasure having you guys all watching. The support's been incredible. Over a thousand new subscribers. And um, yeah, look forward to doing it all again.